Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb. Today I have a book review on Shiny Broken Pieces by Sonia Cherapotra and Danielle Clayton. I'm sorry if I butchered those names. If you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher though, I rate my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading again very soon, five to five. Not so soon, one out of five. This will also be a no spoilers review, but there will be spoilers about what happened in the first book, not this book. So if you haven't read the first book, I'll try to remember to link my review of the first book in the down bar so you can check that out. So basically this book I read as a buddy read. It was a lot of fun. I read it with Steph from the Book Hopper. And I'll put her links in the down bar so you, check, so you should check out her channel. And I really enjoyed this one. I think I enjoyed it even more than the first book. Well, I don't think. I did enjoy it more than the first book. The first book was really good. I really enjoyed it. But I gotta say this one was did not have sequel syndrome. I was so happy. Like lately that's been happening to me a lot. Like the first book I'm like, let's say like four stars. I'm like that was... You know, well, four stars is more than pretty good, but that was like really good. It was just missing something. And then the second book comes along. It's like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what's been happening with sequels. Maybe they heard our cries for better, well, not better sequels. Cause you know, it's subject, uh, objective, but you know, I think it's like, I, I don't want to curse myself, but I feel like sequels are getting even better. Like, I feel like they used, to, there was a lot that used to go down a slump, but I feel like a lot of them are like getting better than the first book. And I really love that because it's like your expectations are up here. You're like, nah, and then it's like, whoosh. And then, like, you have no doubts about the rest of the books in the series, but this is a duology. I believe, I don't think there's a third book after this. I could be wrong, but from what I've heard and, like, how it wrapped up, I don't think so. Basically, this book pretty much takes place, like, a few months after the events that have happened um, in the end of the last book. So, as we last recall, Gigi had an accident. Um, they're trying to figure out who did it. And that's kind of what's surrounding the beginning of the book and kind of, like, Gigi's metamorphosis. We have bets, you know redemption or like she's trying to redeem herself and we have June kind of wavering in rules and seeing which like which shoe she put should put on for example like is she going to take this path in life or this path and she's trying to figure out what would be best for her as well as all the um, implications of involving her parentage so basically that's where the main players are at we also have some new characters come in um, but I'm going to talk about that in my character sec character section so the plot I give a five to five I absolutely love this plot I found it it moved at a really good pace. It was fast, but it wasn't like so fast you're losing yourself. It was a very, very good pace. I can't say more things about how great the pace was of this book. I liked everything that happened pretty much. The only thing that had a little bit of a, t like a little bit of a problem with was something at the ending. There was something that happened and then it kind of redeemed itself like it switched about. Um, so I was kind of angry at that one part, but I found it to be a very good book. There was a lot of creepy things that were happening in this book and a lot of revenge tactics and stuff like that that wasn't very comfortable to read about but it was very interesting you got to find out some secrets that were pulled from the first book into the second book there was some resolution for example we got to find out what Eleanor who she's been seeing which I don't think that was explicitly stated or even it was kind of hinted at but I don't think it was explicitly stated in the first book which it is stated in this book and that's what I really enjoyed. Characters I give a four out of five now characters I really enjoy most of the characters the one thing I didn't enjoy was Gigi's character as much as the novel. I get what she went through was very horrific and I probably feel the same way wanting to get vengeance but just the way she went about it and stuff that happens to her and she acts very naive like I know she is like 17 I assume because she's in her last year of high school or is it 18? It's 17 here so I'll just say 17. Um, so basically uh, she's young still but she's like really naive to trust like certain people. We also have Cassie who comes back which I found it very interesting to have her back because she was like the hush hush whisper all these rumors about her in the first book and it was interesting seeing her. We had Alex um, or Alec. I always forget if it's Alex or Alec. Um, we had Henri. We had um, Alex's old best friend who I'm forgetting his name right now. We had Bet, which I really enjoyed Bet's character throughout this novel. I kind of had mixed feelings, but because I was rooting more for Gigi in the first book than Bet, when certain things happen, it kind of, you know, this. But I really like Bet's like, characterization, what she went through. I really like to see more about Eleanor. I really enjoyed June's storyline. I didn't enjoy it as much in the first book, but I really enjoyed her. The only character that was really bothering me was Gigi. And I think because her character took a total turnaround, but then she turned around again. Like, it was, she just went through a lot in, like, a very short time. And, like, yeah, it's some parts seem realistic, but I really wish that... How, what we heard about in the first book, it kind of seems like her attitude change is not very representative of the character that we met. And I know people can change, but this was like a rapid change. And I know it happened after a traumatic event, so I'm not sure how that would affect you. I've never had a traumatic event like that happen to me, so who am I to judge? But it just felt very foreign. She wasn't really herself. I wish it wouldn't... I wish, like, 
there'd be no drama in the book but I really wish some confrontation would have happened earlier on in the book like if you hear something why don't you go ask the person before you do this like revenge scheme like see what's going on in their head but obviously then we wouldn't have a book so you know you can give and take but yeah I'm a bet a little bit at the ending like I didn't know what to root for June's ending wrapped up and it was it was I didn't expect that actually very unexpected cover I give a five to five like who cannot give a five of these covers these covers are actually gorgeous I really love this one even more than the first one I think because I like the pink um light pink with the black I don't really like fuchsia pink with black but I really like how it's light pink because if it was fuchsia I probably wouldn't like it as much because I don't like those color combos but I really like that I love the typography on the spine it's just really pretty love it I love that I have it in hardcover and it'll go right with my other one because they're gonna look so pretty together on the shelf um and yeah I really enjoy the cover Suspense, I give a 5-5. Five, five. I was really glued to this book. Like, it did take me a few days to get into, but when I was, like, reading it, because I wanted to finish it before the book, too, I thought it was pushing me to read it faster. Not that I was, like, passively reading, but I was, like, I was really gripped with it, and I really, really enjoyed it. And overall, I give this book a 5-5. Five, five. I definitely read this duology again. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you haven't read it, people, what I first got interested in was Tiffany from About to Read was talking about it, and she was saying it's, like, if I'm getting this right, it's Pretty Little Liars mixed with Gone Girl. I love both those books. Obviously, you know that from my channel. Well, maybe not Gone Girl because I don't discuss that one as much, but Pretty Little Liars for sure. And yeah, um, definitely pick this up if you haven't. Um, and I'll try to remember to link my review of the first book in the down bar. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.